A narcissist becomes a clown when they lose control over you. Hey everyone, welcome back. Have you ever reached a point where you've completely moved on from a toxic situation? You've ignored the threats, the lies and the attempts to control you. You've healed from the trauma and reclaimed your life. And guess what? The narcissist no longer has any power over you. You're living your life on your own terms, doing the things you love and focusing on your own happiness. But here's the kicker. When the narcissist realizes they can't manipulate or intimidate you anymore, their last resort might be to involve the authorities. It's a desperate move, but one that some narcissists might try when they feel like they're losing control. Stay tuned as we delve into this intriguing topic further. And if you've experienced something similar, share your story in the comments below. Let's support each other on this journey to reclaim our lives from toxic influences. Narcissists have a knack for picking up on cues that suggest you've had enough of their behavior. They absolutely despise being called out for their actions. They dodge responsibility at all costs and play the victim, regardless of what they've done. Catch a narcissist cheating. They'll get angry with you. Hold them accountable for their actions. They'll never trust you again. Instead of owning up to their mistakes, they'll lie, spread rumors about you, and shift the blame onto you. The entire cycle of narcissistic abuse revolves around manipulating, gaslighting, and tearing down their target's character because deep down, they're insecure. They lack control, compassion, and empathy, yet they always paint themselves as a the victim. When you're recovering from narcissistic abuse and rediscovering your strength and identity, breaking free from the trauma bond, narcissists can sense it's a threat to their control and manipulation. When they realize they can't reel you back in with their old tricks, they resort to legal abuse as a final attempt to bring you down. They can't handle seeing you regain your independence and confidence, so they try to use a legal system to undermine you. Some narcissists resort to legal abuse, especially if you're married to one. They'll drag you into court and launch smear campaigns, painting themselves as the victim while showcasing your reactions to their manipulation. They love stirring up trouble and then using any means possible to ruin your reputation without admitting their own wrongdoing. But when the narcissist realizes you're truly moving on with your life, it's a huge blow to their ego. It's even more damaging to them than exposing their lies because they thrive on control and manipulation. When they're exposed, they'll flee into their world of lies and denial, seeking support from their enablers and spreading more deceitful stories to protect their fragile self-image. Trudy, the moment you sever ties, they sense the disconnect keenly. Without your energy to feed on, they grow desperate, resorting to various tactics. For those who lean towards psychopathy, like malignant narcissists or narcissistic sociopaths, violence becomes a real possibility. They may stalk you relentlessly, resorting to physical aggression. On the other hand, weaker narcissists, such as covert or sociopathic types, only resort to physical confrontation if they feel assured of dominance. This explains why some male narcissists resort to violence against their partners, instilling fear to maintain control. They are nothing but cowards. Similarly, female narcissists attack men who uphold moral standards against violence towards women. Reflect on all that you've endured. They meticulously document every detail. They rely on this repository to manipulate and perpetuate your trauma. But once these tactics falter, my comrades, when you reach a stage where their actions hold no sway over you and you begin reclaiming activities you cherish, revealing your inner strength, hosting lively streams with friends, hitting clubs, embracing any activity that reflects your true self prior to the narcissist's intrusion, this strikes at the heart of their insecurity, driving them to madness. They'll resort to any extreme measure. Remember the wisdom I impart, dear friends. When facing a narcissist determined to ensnare you in their trauma, to subject you to a cycle of abuse, to extract the negative fuel they crave, remember this. The narcissist is intellectually bankrupt, emotionally stunted. If dealing with a narcissist plagued by various personality disorders, deeply toxic, addicted to substances, acknowledge this reality. Recognize that these cowards, despite their bravado, will stoop to any level to regain control over you, their object of obsession. In a bid to perpetuate your trauma, and perpetually bind you to their cycle. And this is the moment you ridicule them. 
Even if you opt to ridicule them, however, what truly irks a narcissist is your indifference. When you reach a state of apathy, when you reclaim your genuine self, when you rediscover your essence, and when you propel yourself forward, that's what rattles a narcissist to the core. They'll go to any length imaginable, be prepared for this, to perpetuate the cycle of trauma, to sustain the flow of negative energy. Furthermore, it's crucial to recognize that narcissists thrive on conflict and feed off negative energy to regulate their emotions. They're engaged in various manipulative games simultaneously, maintaining unstable and abusive relationships. You've experienced this first hand during your time with a narcissist. You're not alone. Every individual subjected to a narcissist's abuse or manipulation is entangled in toxicity. By withdrawing your energy completely, by reclaiming it and severing ties, by displaying indifference and allowing them to self-destruct, you safeguard your peace. When you reach the point of detachment, when you've truly moved on, and when you're reconnecting with your authentic self, that's when the narcissist feels the greatest affront. Remember, to a narcissist, you're just an object, a means to their ends. But when they lose control over you, they panic. Stay emotionally strong, that's your power. You're not reliant on others to manage your feelings. You have a soul, and that's your advantage. Expect the unexpected and stay prepared. Narcissists are like sad, evil clowns. They're not as tough as they pretend to be. If they resort to extreme measures to smear your name, it means you've reclaimed your strength and authenticity. Keep being true to yourself and moving forward. If this resonated with you, share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with others who might need it. Also, check out the free book and one-on-one -on -one consultation available through the link in the description. Take care of yourselves, support each other, and never let those narcissistic clowns bring you down. Keep pushing forward.